thank you everyone for having me. Uh, so I'm here to talk about Swipe Simple, which has been branded for you all as uh, Revenue Mobile. Um, so every time someone signs up, they'll see Revenue Mobile <coughs> on there, uh, which is a, a great feature to have. Um, so what is Swipe Simple or, or Revenue Mobile? Um, it's a mobile EMV solution uh, that you can offer today uh, for your merchants. Um, the great thing about it is easy. You just click the reader in. Um, shortly, um, and you're ready to process. It's not rocket science, it's not uh, eight hour manual. Um, you, know, you just hook it in and you're ready to go. So the, the first thing I wanna talk about is everything that I go through today, you all have access to, um, the front end as well as the back end. So you can download Swipe Simple um, right off the uh, Google Play Store, or iTunes, and press demo mode right at the bottom, and you have a full recreation of it. Uh, this is all you need, uh, so it, honestly, I would say after I give a presentation, um, if, you, if you missed anything, I promise you take 10 minutes, you'll have everything you need to know. We also have a merchant dashboard, which I, I know uh, not a lot of people know about it. Um, so not only do you get a mobile application, but you can also key in transactions on your dashboard as well. Um, you can also upload items, um, and that's uploads. Uh, straight from your dashboard that will uh, sync in real time on your mobile application as well. So I want to talk a little bit about compatibility because whenever you talk about a mobile product, um, success is really determined by what device they have. So we not, don't just work on um, mobile devices, we also work on tablets as well, uh, Android as well as iOS. Um, so it's really great. If, you know, whatever they have in, the, in, the, in their back pocket is what we can work with. If they have a tablet, we can work with that. If they have an Android, we can work with that. Um, not only that, we have something called a diagnostic email straight from the application that hits our developers and will let us know whether it's compatible or not. Um, I don't know any other uh, product that gives you direct access to, to their developers. <laughs> um, another thing I kind of want to uh, address is I know the iPhone 7 rumors. Uh, so our, our take on that is the market's not gonna shift over time, it's not our overnight. 50% uh, of the Android uh, of users today are Android. 99% um, of the uh, mobile products in the field do not have, um, or do have an audio, audio jack. However, we do wanna make sure that we are a partner for the future. We're not just thinking about today, we're thinking about tomorrow as well. Um, so we have um, an NFC Bluetooth device that is available now. Uh, EMV, Magstripe, NFC, as well as Bluetooth. We also have a uh, kind of one step below this, which is Bluetooth, EMV, as well as Magstripe. Uh, so we have some, some different uh, things available. We want to make sure that a year from now you're not going, oh, Revenue Mobile, they, you know, they didn't plan for the future. We got, we're, we're planning for the future as well. Um, but we do think that this device, which you can see here, the audio jack, uh, we call the 8200 is going to be the device of this, uh, the device for the foreseeable future. Um, so this is what we sell uh, primarily. Um, not only that, all iPhone 7s carry an adapter. So if in a pinch they still have an adapter, they can still process through this mm. if they need to. That's good. Okay, so. Uh, so, what are some some great things about uh, the mobile product that you have today? Well, it's fast and easy. Let's not forget. <clears throat> You know, you want to stick the reader into the phone and, and be able to process. Um, you can do it quickly, it's not a long hassle. Um, and like I said, they can get a full recreation of how it works before they even buy. So by, by the time they set up, they already know what they're doing. Um, you can track your transactions on the go, whether they've uh, signed a signature, so you can pull your transaction uh, history up um, right from your phone. As well as inventory, we have people using it with 10,000 plus items uh, straight from a mobile solution. So I know sometimes we think mobile is probably you know, four to five uh, business size, four to five person business size. Um, and I'll kind of go through what uh, some of the merchants are that are using our solution today. Um, but we've seen you know, 100 locations, uh, four people at each location using this product. So when you're talking about something that can scale, uh, it's simple, but there are some features that really allow uh, you to sell to some larger merchant sizes. Like I said before, we have a dashboard as well as a mobile application. So not only do they get this great mobile product, uh, but they can go in on the back end, export all their transactions, uh, upload massive all their inventory, um, 
and in real time, everyone who's using the application will see their items populate. Um, a great way for a business owner to manage his business while maybe as drivers or anything like that in the field can see everything in real time. <laughs> Um, customizable receipts, so if they have a you know Twitter handle or a Instagram or a customer service policy, whatever they want to put on there, they can easily just go on the dashboard, enter that information, and they're ready to go. So, what are some key differentiators? Uh, well, start with uh, the ability to process EMV. Let's not overlook that. Uh, TSIS first data as well as global. Um, it's optimized for a tablet as well as uh, a mobile, mobile device. So, you know, right out the gate, they can put it on whatever <laughs> device they have in their in their cupboard, or if they have a tablet laying around. Oh no, that'd be pretty good on the stand. Why don't I just hook this tablet, uh, this uh, reader to it? Um, we have multiple uh, versions of MIG access. So, um, you know, if you have a salon or uh, multiple locations, we're we're set up for that. Um, you can easily look at your transaction details. Uh, like I said before, cloud-based inventory allowing for bulk uploads uh, if inventory management is something they're looking for. <coughs> offline mode, we do have an offline mode, which is essentially a store and forward mode. Um, customizable receipts, uh, and so on. So, the good, the good part. Uh, well, who's using uh, this mobile product today? So here's the uh, list of merchants that are using us by transaction count. Uh, as you can see here, food and dining is number one. Um, this really is more of not, you know, full-fledged, uh, I wouldn't give it to a full, you know, full-service restaurant, uh, but we do get a lot of cafes and things of that nature. Uh, health and beauty, uh, salons, spas, anything like that. Transportation is huge. I, I can't tell you how many uh, kind of plug-and-go solutions I see in cabs all the time when they went to Best Buy and just plop something in. Uh, it'd be great if, you know, if they had Swipe Simple and they told uh, their friends about Swipe Simple and then all of a sudden the, their cab owner was like, why don't I just put all of my taxis in uh, using this? Uh, so kind of a great way to think about, okay, it's just a mobile merchant, but maybe how can we expand this? Professional services, uh, general retail. Uh, I hate waiting in line, so uh, I would love a line buster if someone just to be like, all right, I'm, I'm, we have a 30 minute line with a wait, why don't we just get some people out and knock this out? Um, so here are some other, uh, like I said before, <coughs> merchants that are using us and, and kind of some of the more enterprise level. Uh, so we have a home service company with 57 employees, uh, a pizza delivery driver with, uh, with our pizza delivery company with 20 drivers, uh, a sports uh, retailer with 20 users, um, trucking company with 14 drivers, uh, property management company with 18 employees. Um, honestly, anything with drivers, it should be like, <laughs> If you take away one thing from this presentation, if they drive, they need to be set up with the solution. Um, so what are the features that really fit into these merchant verticals? Uh, so beauty and barbershops, that multi-mid access, analytics on the dashboard, being able to kind of set up a mini business. They can rent their business out and, and uh, toggle between each person and look at their transaction history. Um, food and, and dining, so pizza parlors, snack shops, cream stores, coffee shops. We get a lot of beer gardens. I've been seeing a lot of beer, uh, beer gardens, which, and I like beer, so uh, that's something that stands out. Uh, charitable and social uh, service organizations, um, so churches, nonprofits, anything like that. Uh, schools, uh, we're a perfect solution. You just, you know, when they need us, turn us on. When you don't need us, just shut it down. Um, contractors, uh, once again, where you, you're sending a service out and they need to be able to process in the home. Uh, professional services. Uh, a lot of, we actually have a lot of accountants and lawyer, lawyers using the service. Um, a lot of it is due to the fact that we have member level, um, or how should I say, we have, uh, what well, we have is called an admin and a member. So admins can see everyone's transactions where members can only see their own. So where you need some sort of privacy or kind of a, a little bit of a block between what people can see uh, in terms of transactions, we have that ability as well. Um, contractors, again, uh, automotive service shops, you know, the ability to store signatures, um, you know, fight against chargebacks, <coughs> track inventory, so you can see what's going in, what's going out, you have the ability to turn tracking inventory on and off. Um, miscellaneous, so there's merchants all the time that are boarded on our system that I've never even heard of and never even thought about it. Um, and that kind of goes to everyone here, just being creative with what you can do with the product. Um, consulting, uh, health and beauty, once again. 
Um, membership club. So uh, they have the uh, golf cart uh, kind of uh, vendors that drive around. Um, I know like, we have a few of those actually set up on our system. 20 of the golf cart people just driving around selling you know, sprites and uh, popcorn. But still, it's just funny how some of the, some of the great uses that we can get out of it. Uh, convenience stores, specialty markets, taxi cabs and limousines, once again. Um, home furnishing, specialty stores, uh, doctors and uh, physicians, and, and, and so on. So we have a lot of great features. We want to make sure it's simple and easy to use. Uh, but we wanted to also add some, some things that allow you to, to target different verticals and really um, have a sticky product. Um, when, you, when it comes to selling this, I always say, um, with what you have in, in you know, with what code card has, what we have, you can really offer a perfect solution that I believe can combat any uh, mobile competitors. When you're talking about being able to directly hit our developers with any support issues that may happen, which we know with mobile products, who knows what could happen in the field or whatnot. Um, so just having that, that full service product where, you know, uh, where I know a lot of other uh, competitors, sometimes they have great features and bells and whistles, but when it comes to actually um, giving a product that is sticky and, and that runs and works, um, I really do think this is uh, the best solution on the market. So, Okay, uh, a couple quick questions. I saw this device over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can put an iPad on there? What is this? So that is a um, tablet holder. I use yeah. it for shows. You can put an iPad oh, on it. Can you just buy this anywhere? Yeah. I, this was actually uh, yeah. one of our developers that I stole before oh, I came. Do you don't sell these? No, we don't. Oh, but honestly, okay. if you... If, you go online. What the hell is have some the tablet holder? It's great. I mean, you can sell these for about 15 bucks. He's not going to tell you pricing. He's not going to tell you pricing. I'm not going to tell you pricing. Let's give Logan Fry a big hand. Yeah.